Hello and welcome to Heroes Away, where I will be showing you guys how you can get rid of those pesky heroes and clan castle troops. So what do we have today? Well, we have an amazing product in a bottle that lets you do this in five simple steps. So let's jump right in it and I can show you how to get rid of those pesky heroes. So you come across a few bases where the heroes are really high and you're afraid to attack. Well don't worry because this method has been tested and you will be taking out max level heroes at the end of this video and clan castle troops 100% guaranteed or your money back. So you guys let's jump into this. Let me show you 5 simple steps how you can take out these heroes and be a pro. Okay so step number 1. Best way to get heroes and clan castle troops is to use barbs and wall breakers. Wall breakers mainly because they are the ones that get closest to the walls to pull heroes and barbs are what you're going to use to keep the heroes coming towards you, towards those corners where you want to lead them to. Now some people might argue that hog riders are actually better to pull heroes and clan castle troops. That is true, however they do cost more units to make those, so we're doing the cheapest way to pull heroes and clan castle troops if they are accessible. Okay so now that we have getting the heroes attention out of the way, let's go on to number two. Step number two is to lead them to the corners. Now it's just not leading them to the corners. This is the best way to actually optimize your attack against these heroes because if you just lead them to anywhere what you're going to have to deal with is weapons. So if you can get them to the farthest corner that is the best way to do it and by looking at some of the top bases up there they have designed their attacks against this type of method so you got to make sure you lead them to the farthest corner so that you're out of range of splash damage weapons. So now that you have the heroes and the clan cats troops going to those corners what do you do next? Well I'll tell you, you gotta use throwaway troops. These are the guys that are gonna help defend your attackers while they're getting set up. So for example if you're using witches and you just throw witches out there without any defensive throwaway troops then they will kill your witches before your witches have time to set up their skeletons. And same with minions, if you don't use these troops to keep luring the heroes away from weapons then the heroes will just walk back and your minions will get closer for the air units to destroy them. Alright but we're not using minions, we're using heroes away and that comes with 10 barbarians, 5 wall breakers, 4 wizards and 3 witches. Anything less than that and you have a generic product. Yes you heard it right. If you have less than what is on the screen right now you have a bad product. This is for you guys to get good and so that you don't lose when you attack make sure you got these amount of troops before you attack. So again you guys this combination does not require a clan castle you don't need golems you don't need spells, you don't need heroes. All you need to do is follow the instructions on the screen and these troops alone can take out both heroes and their clan castle if followed the directions right. I've been using this product for years, I'm gonna get a testimonial soon. All right, so let's go on to step number four. You guys have made it. This is actually the hardest step, however. This is positioning your attackers. Now, if you're gonna do this correctly, you have to make sure that you line up your attackers so that they are not spread out and queens or whoever could take them out so that you can optimize your attack. If you spread out your witches or your wizards, they will get snipped out and the skeletons that keep producing will not do their job effectively. So you guys make sure you position your attackers. How I do it is I put the witches down right after my throwaway troops, usually barbarians, about three or four of those and then put your wizards behind the witches so that they walk up and they hit those heroes and they don't go to the side. Make sure you position those attackers, that is step number four. All right you guys, and step number five, if you have applied at least a few sprays of this product and the surface area has been cleaned, last thing you wanna watch out for is the position of your enemies. So for best results, what you gotta do is you gotta make sure you have the king and queen lined up together. Make sure that the queens or any other enemies is not on the side of you so that they can take out your wizards or witches. Make sure you got everyone grouped up together and make sure they are positioned correctly also. So here's an example of what happens when the queen is on the side of you. Just make sure this doesn't happen to you. Get those king and queens lined up and you will be a pro at attacking heroes that are maxed and clan castle troops all in one you guys. This is the best product. If you want some of this, go ahead and give it a call. Call me here, I'm in the office, 1-800-GIMME THAT. That's 1-800-G-I-M-E-D-A-T. Give me that and we'll ship you a free bottle if you order today. Uh, supplies are limited, so make sure you do it fast. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time, Godson out. Anything less than that and you have a, uh, make sure you read the distract, the, damn it.